Well, this is one of my favourite buildings on the Isle of Man, the Hydro Hotel here on Douglas Prom. Partly because I was brought up here as a boy. My parents were operating the hotel and in the 50s and 60s and the 70s, the island's tourist industry was at its peak. There were tens of thousands of people here all through the summer. And these buildings, these terraces of boarding houses, are one of the glories of the Isle of Man. If you look at the lower floors there, the great picture windows, the rooms inside have all got wonderful ornate plaster ceilings. You, you couldn't find anything anywhere better in, in the British Isles. And look at them today. The Hydro was built in 1910, but many of the others are much older. They're still in fantastic condition. It's an important, vital part of our built environment on the island, something we should treasure and be proud of. And it's marvellous that so many of them are still functioning, even if they've been uh, given over to different uses. It's important that we keep them as they are. I love this building because every time I come to it, uh, I bring somebody new and they just fall in love with it. It's a Georgian church, it's nothing else. It's got no prehistory in its building and it's got no history after 1870 when the congregation moved next door to St. To Braddon Church as is now. They commissioned the architect Pearson to build them a new church because this wasn't big enough. So everything's there that we look for. When we go to other churches, we're always saying, oh, is this bit Georgian? Is this bit Victorian? Is this bit... But here, it's the real thing. And whenever I want to find out a bit about a window or something in the Georgian period, I come and have a look. I don't need to tell you much more about the church. Just come and see it. We're at the Quarter Bridge in front of the Nook um, and I love this building because it's a really good example of a small group of buildings that speak of the time they were built but they're kind of really outward looking, they're part more of an international movement, the emerging modern movement and the international style of architecture. One of only a few buildings of this type in the Isle of Man and I think it's overlooked by a lot of people as a bit of an oddity. Now that I live just up the road from it, I go past it every day. But when I was little, it used to be the shop, the sweet shop on the way to my grand, grandparents' house. This, this building is a registered building. Um, I know there's been a planning application to do some work on it to, to uh, refurbish quite a bit of it and bring it back. So I think that's, that's great and if that happens, it'll be fantastic. Time has proved to me that there's things about this building that I like and the more that I look at it, the more I find things to admire. Um, I first fell in love with the tower, with the flags on it, because when the sun shines late afternoon, when there's no sunshine on the prom, that tower lights up. If you think, looking down the prom, you've got the, the chimney pots and the, and the little tower, towers, it, it, there is a reference back to the past. Um, but the building itself is a great way to finish off Victoria Street and the main promenade. It's a building that I've learnt to love. I didn't start off loving. <laughs>